So, is it true that solar energy takes too much land away from farming and even harms biodiversity? In this series, we're breaking down misconceptions around renewable energy one by one. It's time we rethink energy myths. Because of its scale, utility solar often gives the impression that it takes up too much farmland. But in fact, it leaves a surprisingly small footprint, confirms Jonas Bohm, PhD candidate researching PV development at the Tunin Institute. Ground-mounted photovoltaic systems are the cheapest way to generate electricity because not only do we use unproductive land, we make it good use of agricultural land too. Take Germany as an example, currently only 0.1% of the land is used for ground-mounted PV systems. And let's not forget that solar energy is increasingly versatile and can be installed on rooftops and on water too. Even when built on farmland, utility solar doesn't necessarily interrupt agricultural activity and even brings many benefits. For example, by shielding the land from high winds, AgriPV helps reduce soil erosion and keeps land fertile in the long run. Introducing sheep grazing also improves the quality of green pastures. Thoughtful PV designs can even enrich biodiversity. We install special biohuts containing shells around our floating PV systems to provide shelter for small fish and vertebrates and strengthen the underwater ecosystem. And in countries where water is scarce, floating PV even reduces evaporation. As farmers adapt to changing climatic conditions, PV systems can help them to generate additional income and therefore makes the farms more resilient. Ultimately, agrivoltaic systems and biodiversity PV systems promote double land use, preserving agricultural land and production, all by providing a renewable power source. So, there you have it. Contrary to common beliefs that solar energy panels take too much land, they enrich agriculture and biodiversity in many ways. After all, we're here on a mission to create a more sustainable future. Follow this series to debunk more myths on renewable energy.